If I go, there will be trouble. There we go. If I stay, there will be double. Gotta let me know. It's time for another build video. Alright, here we go. Come on. Get there, get there. Oh yeah. Alright. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to bring you my first of many Ninja Bike Messenger Bag builds. Now this one is going to be showcasing the Lady Death. So I hope you enjoy it. Now sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. And let's jump into the build breakdown. Here we go. Now starting off with the specialization. I am using the Gunner specialization. Now the reason being for this one is I'm using the Banshee Pulse in PvE primarily. Sometimes in PvP. But in PvP what I do is I use those Pulse mods on my Jammer Pulse. And then I just utilize, you know, the bonus armor whenever I pop the armor kit, you know, the extra RPMs and bonus armor whenever I uh, get a kill and, you know, keep going on that way. But all right, that is the gunner specialization. Now, as far as the weapon, it's all about the Lady Death. We are bringing back the Lady Death out of the stash and uh, we're going to have some fun with this in the ninja bike. Now, with this setup, I am rocking 108k total damage. Now, this one is only expertise level 16, so you can get this one up six more levels all the way to 22. Now, as far as the attributes go, everything is maxed out. SMG, crit chance, and armor damage. Now, what's so special about the Lady Death is the talent Breathe Free. So whenever you are moving, you gain four stacks per second, but you get eight stacks per second if you are sprinting. Now, you get a total of 32 stacks. Now, each of those stacks will contain 75% amplified damage for your, you know, your weapon. Now, if you get a kill, it will increase your movement speed by 20%. For 10 seconds so things like speed running or you know something like that a lot of people do use the lady death for that extra movement speed and i highly recommend it it is a lot of fun all right now as far as your secondary and sidearm you can use whatever it is you want doesn't matter as long as you have the lady death you are good to go now the build this one's going to be pretty cool because it is featuring the new ninja bike messenger bag now, with that being said, we are using the new exotic with three pieces of Hunter's Fury, one piece of Sokolov Concern, and the Contractor's Gloves. Now, we're going to have to talk about the exotic first because it does affect all of these other brand sets and gear sets. So here it is, the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag. Now this exotic comes with three core attributes just like the Memento Backpack. The only difference is the talent. Now this talent is called Resourceful. Now if you played the Division 1, you might have seen this in the first game as well. Now Resourceful, it will slot in with any equipped brand set or gear set. It will fulfill a requirement towards one of those bonuses. So whatever brand set or gear set items you are using with this Ninja Bike Messenger Bag, it'll help, you know, go on to the next bonus. So for example, using that with three pieces of Hunter's Fury means I am using four pieces of Hunter's Fury. So whenever I look at it, you can see the four pieces unlocked, giving me that Apex Predator talent. Now, that also means for Sokolov Concern, it's showing that I have two pieces of Sokolov Concern. And then the same thing with the Contractor's Gloves, it's showing that I have two pieces of Providence Defense. Okay. Now, looking at the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag, it is Expertise Level 11, so you can get this up a little bit more, but all that's doing is affecting your armor. 
Now, as far as the mod, I did throw on there a max crit damage mod. I am using a Lady Death, which has really high crit chance. So for everything else, I try to go into crit hit damage. Now let's talk about the Hunter's Fury. Now I do have only three items equipped, but I do have all four gear set bonuses. Speaking of the bonuses, for the two piece, I get plus 15% SMG damage and shotgun damage, but we're not really using the shotties. For the three piece, we get armor on kill and health on kill, which is nice, especially for PVE or PVP for uh, sustainability. And then that Apex Predator talent, which is amazing for this build because this can give you up to 45% amplified damage. And that's on top of the 75% amplified damage you get from the Lady Death itself. So you're already looking at, what, 120% amplified damage if you do everything right? I mean, come on. It's crazy, right? Now, um, looking at this Apex Predator talent, it only enables when you are close to your enemy. So it says within 15 meters, enemies will receive a debuff. This will amplify your weapon damage by 20%. Now, I said 45%, right? Well, it's because of the second part. It says killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon will disorient other enemies within 5 meters. That will amplify your weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds, and it can stack up to 5 times. So that's another 25% amplified damage, which once you add it up, that's 45%. Lady Death has 75%. Boom, you're at 120. Now looking at the attributes, we have max weapon damage, crit hit damage, and a max crit hit damage mod for the mask. Going down to the holster, we have max weapon damage and crit hit damage. And for the knee pads, max weapon damage and crit hit damage. Now, a lot of people might be saying, why the contractor's gloves? Why would you do that instead of, let's say, right here. Let's do Walker Harris, okay? So why not use the Walker Harris? If you put on the Walker Harris, you would get 5% weapon damage and 5% damage to armor, right? And yeah, you are right. Not only that, but then you could utilize two attributes and you could have, you know, double crit. Boom. Good to go, right? Well, for some reason, them making this 8% damage to armor, it still hits harder than using Walker Harris. So sadly... Contractor's gloves are still best in slot, even with the ninja bike. So it does hit harder using the contractor's gloves, which is fine because the only thing I'm really losing out here is the weapon damage and the crit chance, which I don't really need on the Lady Death. And I increase my weapon handling using the contractor's gloves with the ninja bike messenger bag. So I mean, whatever. I hit harder and I have better weapon handling. Whatever. You know what I mean? So contractor's gloves. And then the last piece is Sokolov Concern. Now with the ninja bike, it shows that I have two brand set bonuses for Sokolov Concern. This gives me 10% SMG damage and 15% crit hit damage. Now as far as the attributes, we have weapon damage for the core, max crit chance crit hit damage with a max crit hit damage mod, and we are using Unbreakable for this one. All right. And that's it, really. I mean, depending on PvP or PvE, I'll switch out my skills. And then let's finish up with the stats. Now, this is for the Lady Death. We're at 108k weapon damage, just under 36k for PvP. 47 crit chance, 161 crit hit damage with 70 headshot and 14% armor damage. Going down to the offensive tab, we're at 116% all weapons damage bonus and 45% SMG damage bonus. So every time we are using the Lady Death, what are we at here? We're at 161% damage bonus total. That's just banana pancakes. Come on, that's crazy. That That's cray. You know what I mean? Ain't it, Jay? All right, resourceful on the backpack, unbreakable on the chest piece. Going to the defensive tab, we're at 942k for the armor, 
282k for the armor on kill. Then we have 341k health and health on kill. Now going down to the explosive resistance and hazard protection, those are both 10% and that's due to my watch level. So this is your disclaimer for all my build videos. I am currently watch level 4340. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. So if you are at or above shade level 1000 and you copy and paste my build, you'll get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1000, you go to copy and paste my build, some of your numbers might be lower than mine, and that's because some of these boxes might not be maxed out. It's okay, don't freak out, it's still a great build, but your character is min-maxed whenever you go to shade level 1000. It's not a requirement, it's more of a recommendation. But alright, that is it for the build breakdown. Let's jump to the gameplay, shall we? We'll do a little bit of PvE and a little bit of PvP. Now, my favorite mission to speedrun would be Lincoln Memorial on Heroic. It's just, it's a fast one to run, it's close quarters, a lot of running is involved, and the Lady Death... I think this is going to be a perfect match. So let's do Banshee Pulse with the, hmm, we'll do the Defender Drone. How about that? Okay. We'll do that. All right. Here we go. PVE gameplay. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And let me know what your thoughts in the comment section below. Here we go. Boom, shakalaka. All right. And then after this, we'll do a little bit of PvP. How about that? And let me know if you enjoy the gameplay at the front part of the build or the back part. Doesn't really matter to me. Just try to uh, do something new every once in a while. Yeah, that heavy was a little harder to kill. Alright, that's it. Doing pretty damn good. It's going by pretty quick. Let me know your thoughts about the ninja bike messenger bag in the uh, chat and comments. It's not the most overpowered thing in the game. But it definitely does help out some builds. But I think at the end of the day, for solo players, the memento is still going to be king. Just because of those stacks. I mean, you, you can't beat those stacks. Oh, man. Oh, I blew up myself again, dude. Jeez. That sucked. Oh, that hurt. There we go. Oh. There we go. All right. And we're going. Go, 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 go. Eh, I'm not gonna hit the loot. I'm gonna see how fast we can do this uh, this run. Cause you can usually do it really quick with like a memento, four piece Hunter's Fury. But now we're doing the three piece with the ninja bike. But this time we have more damage to armor. But does that really, does that really matter? I don't know. I think it's a good alternative. But I still think that the ninja bike, especially for solo people, 
the ninja bike is still going to be bay. Keep going. An area beneath you would increase security. I can activate on its location. Stay alert. I don't know we now we're going to be doing a new build every day, so I hope you enjoy. And uh, make sure you have the notifications on. That way you see all these videos. We're going to be doing multiple videos every single day. Hopefully I can get those uh, exotics to drop in the dark zone. We'll see, though. I saw that the chances are very, very low. Oh, snap. out of my stacks. There we go. Boom. Doing pretty good. Remember, this is on heroic. I mean, not bad. Not bad. We're almost done, too. That's pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do is, after this mission, we're going to do PvP live. So I'm going to show you live PvP gameplay. And then we'll get out of here. Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh, got it. All right, and you can see my Hunter's Fury indicator is fully maxed out. That means I have all of that amplified damage. Whenever you see that Hunter's Fury thing maxed out, you have all of that amplified damage. It's dirty. Like, there is so much damage in this build. It's incredible. I love it. I've always been a sucker for uh, Hunter's Fury. That's for sure. I hate that this guy just runs. There we go. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Oh my god. That was dirty. Alright. There we go. Let's see how fast that was. Boom. Shaka laka. I feel like that was quick. I don't know. I feel like that was quick though. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Today we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cash account. I mean it's not gonna be my fastest time, but we'll see. And survey says, there we go, seven minutes, damn, that was quick, okay, all right, that was quick, that was very quick, all right, now let's do PvP, and we're doing all this live, so here we go, and if you like this new format, just let me know in the comments, if you want me to go back to the other format where I did, you know, PvP, then the build breakdown, then PvE, or something like that. Just let me know. I am down for whatever. Alright. Where is my coffee? There we go. We're going to be waiting here for a second. Jeez. Yeesh. Doo doo poop boo doo poo doo boo. Boo boo. Boom boom. Boom boom. Boom boom. 
bum, bum. Ah, about time. Here we go. Let's see where it puts us. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do Wharf Skirmish. Now I'm paired up with DRR Elise, EXO Jimmy the Hood, and IMY God Emperor. We're going against SHD Crash Burn You, Crash and Burn You, DNC East Park 187, um, Wisco Chill, Wisco Chill, and then Shy CG 604. All right, GG's everyone. Here we go. Let's do some uh, PvP and get out of here. I would enjoy this type of gameplay because all I do is just I have it recording and I don't have to do any editing. I mean, if any you know body that does videos or anything like that knows, the editing is the longest part out of everything. Ooh. So any time that I can do less editing, the happier. But we'll see. Come on. But that also means you're going to see me die. Oh no. I might die. But I'll, I'll tell you a secret. Everyone dies in PvP. No one's safe. Not even the hunters. Alright, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, good luck. Alright, Wharf PvP. Now this is a solo queue into conflict pvp i already showed you um solo heroic pve gameplay so it's only right i show you the pvp stuff here we go oh come on load us in come on put us in coach come on there we go let's do it i love the slayer on my back man look at the snowflakes reminds me of new york city right, here we go All right. Oh, we're doing PvP. My bad. I'm going to switch the Banshee to a Jammer. And I'm going to switch the Defender Drone to a Seeker Mine. There we go. Now you know how I run it for PvP. Even though they did make changes to the uh, Jammer Pulse. Explosive seeker mine detected. So if they have something higher than a Explosive Tier 3, I will not be able to jam it. All right, nobody street side. Looks pretty clear. Oh, I would say that. Stinger hive detected. Oh. He was just wanting to foam people. He's super squishy. I want to catch him in the spawn. Oh, another foam. Yo, what's up with all the foam? Let's see what happens here. That was a lot of foam. Yeah, dude. This, both of them are just foaming. Oop. Pop this really quick. Whew. Oh. Oh, get on the other side. There we go. Thank you. Now come back. Jimmy the Hood. be getting our boost here shortly. I mean, I think the game's over now. I mean, let's be real. Oh. Ouch. Oh, my God. What the hell? I was blinded, bleeding, everything. They did, they did bring out the status effects right off the rip, huh? With those uh, foams. It's all good. Come on. Rogue seeker mine there we detected. go. And boost is up. We are up by four. Do, 
Do 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 do. Rogue stinger hive detected. Hostiles we have armor, detected. armor. No, nope, they just gotta revive. Coming, Jimmy. Jimmy the Hood, I'm coming, bro. Damn, dude, they're hitting him with everything. That's crazy. Oh, and a sticky bomb. Holy crap. Yeah. Damn. Skill build, man. Straight up skill build. All right. Yeah. The skills are killing me right now. May have to whip out a uh, hazard build for the next build video. But then again, I've seen more uh, more status effects in this one game than I have in a majority of the games. Look at that. They're both foamed. Damn, dude. And he's bleeding. <laughs> Damn. They're coming out strong. And then they have the one tank guy to uh, get your aggro. And then they hit you with the skills. It's dirty. Dirty gameplay. I like it, though. behind us yo oh, the skills are unbelievable right now I got you bro oh damn dude oh my god dude the skills yo, it's not fair man it's not fair man look at that another skill building <laughs> yo it's skill builds and then one guy with a lady death that's killer all right, all right, GG's on that. Let's see, we were up by four. Let's see, no, now we're only up by one. All right, let's get it together. The enemy is about to claim the supply drop. I am three and three, I need to pick it up. The specialization supply drop has Skills are killing me though, I'm focusing the guy with the lady death. Rogue, explosive seeker mine it's all detected. good, we got this. Go, 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 go. Oh. Snap, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. All right, I'm going. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, I see, I see. It's all good. They're down low. Come up top. It's okay. Come up top. Yo, I'm blinded. And I'm pestilence ticks. Damn, dude. They're throwing the kitchen sink right now. I dig it. I dig it. Side. Oh no, he's in their spawn. Yep, oh, there you go. GG's. All right. So there's your PVE and PVP. I told you we all die, but we got that dub. Yeah, baby. Let's see what happened. I think I went positive. Pretty sure. We shall see. We shall see. GG's though. Let's see. And I like that though. I get to, you know, team up with a whole bunch of random people, go up against random people. Pretty fun. Hey, and we got MVP. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Look at that. 
I'll take that all day with a ninja bike messenger bag build, baby. All right, we went seven, three, and two with 18.7 million damage. Nice. Very good. Not bad. Not bad at all. So now you got to see PvE and PvP start to finish. You got the whole build breakdown. And if you have any questions at all, just let me know in chat or in the comment section below. But alright everyone, that is it for me. I will see you in the next one. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Peace.